Hi everyone and welcome to Quick Tips. Final Cut Pro is mostly really intuitive and straightforward, but when it comes to working with other people, it isn't clear what the best workflow is. So what do you do when you need to hand over your work to someone else, and then maybe even get that work back from them? In this video, I'll take you through the best way to send a Final Cut Pro library to someone else, and then go through how to use XML files to send changes back and forth between different people working on the same library. Let's start with getting a library ready to send to someone else. If you want to send your entire library and all your footage, I recommend you start by shrinking your library down to a more manageable size. See this video for details on how to do that. If you only need to send them part of your library, it's worth creating a new library containing just the projects you want to send. This will also make it easier to manage media. In a bit, I'm going to show you how to keep your motion templates bundled with this new library, but before we do that, we need to bundle it in the original library. The reason we do this is to avoid a bug that sometimes happens later when you're trying to copy templates between projects. So you do this by selecting your library, going to the inspector and click modify settings. Next to motion content, select in library. Click OK. Then down by motion content here, click consolidate and click OK. To copy the projects, I can just drag and drop them between libraries. Note that it will automatically transfer media that is inside a project that you copy over, so you don't need to worry about copying over clips that are already inside projects. Now Final Cut Pro is asking us how the project and associated media should be copied. If you plan to find the footage manually or if the person you're sending it to already has the footage, click Project Without Media. The clips will show up as offline, but they can always be relinked later. I'm going to assume for now that you want to transfer media, so I'll check media. Select original media, but do not select optimized or proxy. This is often easier to create from scratch than to transfer, especially if you're trying to transfer it online. Select copy media stored in external locations. This just means that you want to include all the media, even if it's not stored inside the library. Before you click OK, go to modify settings next to storage locations. Set your media location to somewhere else outside of your library. That way you can transfer your library and your media separately, which will make it a lot easier to manage in the transfer. It's often easier to manage downloading multiple files than one big file, because if that big file fails in the download, then you have to start all over again. This next step is very important. For motion content, change it to in library. This will avoid any problems with custom motion templates, titles, and generators not relinking later on. So if you want all those awesome Vistina templates to work, make sure you set this correctly. Set your cache somewhere out of the library so it doesn't cause bloat later on, but put it in a place that you'll remember to find and delete later. You should never transfer or backup cache as it's very easy to generate again. And backups can stay where it is. Click OK. All right, that should do it. But if you're paranoid like me, you might want to go to your library properties in the inspector and click consolidate next to both media and motion content. If we get this pop-up saying there are no files to consolidate, it means it was copied correctly. We can also go to find it to confirm that all the media is where we told it to be. It's worth checking that your motion templates were correctly copied, as this has been an issue in previous versions of FCP. To check this, go to your library in Finder. Right-click and click Show Package Contents. Now I go to Motion Templates and thankfully here it all is. If for some reason any of your motion templates don't get correctly transferred and you have trouble relinking them later on, please see this video on relinking motion templates. It's worth noting that not all hard drives, file structures, and cloud storage providers necessarily work well with Final Cut Pro libraries. So to avoid errors, it's a good idea to compress it into a zip file before uploading it. You can do this by right-clicking and clicking Compress. Now you can copy the zip file and the media to whatever you are using to transfer it. The zip file should be small enough to send via email. So that's how you can send a library to someone else. But what if you want to go back and forth and collaborate with people on a project? This is where it can get complicated. The most robust and efficient way to handle collaboration like this, in my opinion, is with XML files. For this to work, you already need to all have the same footage and motion templates. First, you need to know if you're sending a project, an event, or a library. 
FCP XMLs can be sent for all three levels. In my case, I want to send a project. So I click on the project in the browser. Then I go to File, Export XML, and save it wherever you like. Now you can simply email this XML file to whoever needs this version. On the receiving end, you download the XML and open it. This should cause FCP to pop up and ask you what library you want to import this XML into. Select your library and click Choose. Now it's going to ask you if you want to replace the existing project with the same name or make a new one. To avoid confusion, I would recommend you replace the old one, but this will depend on how you like to work within your team. I'm going to click Replace. And here it is, the updated version. Now you might have expected all the media to be offline since this was made from a library that linked to media in different locations. Luckily, FCP is smart enough that it will automatically relink if that media already exists in that library. Then when you're ready to send out your updates to the team, you repeat the process. Now this approach does require a lot of communication and coordination to make sure that no one works on the same project at the same time. So bear that in mind as it can get complicated trying to consider different projects. If you're looking for a way to simplify all of this and you don't mind spending a little bit of money, the best option is to use PostLab. It keeps backups of all your libraries on the cloud and doesn't allow more than one person to work on the same library at once. It has version control so you can easily keep track of who did what. You can also add cloud storage to your plan so you can keep all of your footage online and edit straight from the cloud. Of course, this works better with a proxy workflow unless you have insane internet speeds or very small footage. So I recommend giving PostLab a look if you're planning to do a lot of collaboration in Final Cut Pro. Okay, that's it. I hope this was helpful. Let us know in the comments if there's something else that you want to hear more about in detail, and we'll see if we can make a video about that too. Thanks for watching.